Many people find it amazing, if not unbelievable, that something as highly complex as humans could have evolved from a relatively simple cell. Here is an explication and presentation of how humans evolved from cells. The first life form evolved in the ocean slash water via abiogenesis into what we call a prokaryote cell about 3.5 to 3.9 billion years ago. Although this is the general understanding, there is some dispute and protestation that prokaryotic species evolved from eukaryotes through a process of simplification. Others protest that the three domains of life came about at the same time, but scientific evidence at this time supports the dynamic that life evolved from the simple to the complex and thus the general understanding is that the prokaryote cell was the first life form. Prokaryotes lack a cell nucleus. The next major event that occurred as nature and evolution progressed from a cell to man happened approximately 2.1 billion years ago with the evolution of cells to the more complex form known as eukaryotes. Scientific evidence indicates that this change occurred because of the great oxygenation event which wiped out anaerobic forms of life and opened up a huge niche for the more complex eukaryotes. Eukaryotes have the increased complexity of a cell nucleus mitochondria, and other membrane-bound organelles. The next major event happened about 1.2 billion years ago with the introduction of sexual reproduction, which increased the rate and complexity of evolution. About 900 million years ago, the next major evolutionary event happened with the development of choanoflagellates. Choanoflagellates are the closest living relatives of animals and they show primitive levels of cellular specialization for different tasks. The next major change during the Proterozoic geologic time period was the evolution to sponges, which delineated the stage where organisms had differentiated tissues. The next major progression was the evolution of Nadaria. Nadaria delineated the stage where organisms had the ability to move freely because of the development of nerves and muscles. Nadaria have radial symmetry and the first eyes evolved around their time, which is about 580 million years ago. The next major evolution was the flatworms, which delineate the ability of organisms to have bilateral symmetry and a brain. After that, a major, major event in nature occurred known as the Cambrian Explosion. The Cambrian Explosion happened about 530 million years ago and it marked a substantial diversification of life relative to what happened prior. The evolutionary progression entailed the development of the Bacchaea which marked an increase in the complexity of the nervous system. Then nature slash evolution progressed to osteocoderms which marked the point where vertebrate morphology obtained. Then evolution progressed to placoderms, which were the first jawed fish. Then about 365 million years ago during the Carboniferous period, evolution brought about the emergence of tetrapods, which is one of the greatest evolutionary changes because tetrapods delineated the point at which the two basic forms of vertebrates diverged. This divergence enabled organisms to move on land. Due to speciation and selective pressures, true amphibians branched off from the early tetrapods about 315 million years ago. Amphibians have the capacity to dwell in water and on the land. The next major evolutionary change occurred when reptiles evolved from amphibians during the Permian period 300 million years ago. Due to evolutionary branching, reptiles split into sauropsids and synapsids. Synapsids are proto-mammals. Then, around 65 million years ago, an asteroid impact occurred which severely disrupted the Earth's biosphere. This led to the Cretaceous Tertiary Extinction Event that brought about the demise of the dinosaurs. It opened up massive ecological niches and made severe ecological and environmental alteration that brought about massive macroevolutionary changes to surviving species. Along with evolutionary branching and the Cretaceous Tertiary Extinction event, 
synapses eventually evolved into primates. From there, significant evolutionary progression of the mammalian primate branch include Darwinius, Egyptopithecus, Proconsul, Pyrolopithecus, Sahelanthropus, Chidensis, Australopithecus afarensis, Homo habilis, Homo ergaster, Homo heidelbergensis, and finally, you, Homo sapiens. <laughs>